If you're a fan of cookies just like me, you have to try out these Danish cookies, which are crispy on the outside. And once you bite into the cookies, they'll melt in your mouth because they're so good and delicious. The ingredients are simple as usual, and I hope you'll be trying out these cookies. Preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Then you're going to line a baking tray with parchment paper ready for your cookies. In your mixing bowl, you're going to be adding in a cup of margarine or softened butter. Then using a hand mixer, you're going to whip up your margarine for around two minutes until fluffy. Scrape your bowl and once the margarine is very light and fluffy, as you can see, you're going to be adding in your icing sugar. This is a cup of icing sugar. Then using our hand mixer, you're going to whip up the icing sugar together with the margarine until the butter is very fluffy. So I'm going to mix up my margarine and icing sugar so that it doesn't splatter all around. Scrape my bowl to make sure all the icing sugar is getting fully whipped up with the margarine. This already looks very delicious. Whip up for another one minute. Once my butter is looking very light and delicious, I've already had a, <laughs> I've already had a taste because the butter is very tempting at this point. So I'm going to be adding in some flavor to my butter. So I'm going to add in vanilla and also crack an egg into the butter. Use my hand mixer and whip up for another minute until the butter is very light. In between you're going to scrape your bowl so that all the ingredients can get fully whipped up i know whenever you're in town you, you usually buy danish cookies so you have to try out this recipe so that you can note the difference between homemade danish cookies and the cookies you buy from town they are going to be very delicious and there's nothing more perfect than cookies baking in your house or in your kitchen <laughs> So the next step is to add in some salt, which is going to balance our cookies. So I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt. And then next, I'm going to be sifting my all-purpose flour into the bowl. So I'll mix in my salt. And at this point, the butter is looking very fluffy. Check this out. Sifting is really important because you don't want the cookies to have lumps of all-purpose flour. And once all the all-purpose is in the bowl, I'm going to use my spatula and mix in a little bit before proceeding, whipping up with my mixer for around a minute. Scrape the sides of my bowl. Once everything is fully combined, you're going to transfer the butter into your piping bag with a star nozzle. So I'm going to fold my piping bag and transfer the butter in. Mm. 
and once you have all the butter into your piping bag you're, you're going to unfold the sides pick your baking tray and then you're going to pipe in your cookies make sure to press so that the butter goes to the bottom of the piping bag by squeezing the top part of the piping bag and then you're going to make a spiral movement just like this You're going to make spiral movements and press on your piping bag so that you get that nice signature Danish cookie pattern. So once done, you're going to be baking your cookies for around 10 to 15 minutes or when you notice that the outside is browning, the cookies are ready. Also make sure not to overcrowd your tin because you want the cookies to bake perfectly. My first round of cookies is ready and the cookies are looking very awesome and you'll notice that the edges are brown that means that the cookies are perfectly baked so I'm going to let this cool for around two minutes so that I can transfer to my cooling rack so that the cookies can completely cool. Check out the golden brown color on my cookies. My Danish cookies are ready and they're looking super gorgeous. I'm going to have a bite, test how the Danish cookies have turned out. And I'm sure they're very crispy. Mm. Once you bite into the cookies, they're crispy on the outside and super delicious, which makes the cookies worth trying because they're much better than the cookies you buy in town. Yes? <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll be trying out these easy Danish cookies.